Our first five round title fight of the night. Again, Nancy Ramirez is not eligible for the belt. Unfortunately, she was not able to make that 115 pound limit. I believe, it was the, is. I believe it was the first time she went, she tried to make 115. It is. So hopefully next time, if she does decide to continue to be do 115, that she can uh, get that squared away. Because that's just a game changer. And I wonder if that hard weight cut is going to affect her in the fight. Um, yeah, even though you don't make it, sometimes you, you work so hard just to get there. Mm -hmm. But Nancy never wanted to have a, a, a lack of cardio, so I would be surprised. She is used to oh. fighting much bigger girls. I love the volume that Brianna's putting out. Both Cuban. Oh. And Nancy catches Full shoulder it shrug. Keeping it standing, like they said. Oh, oh. Brian. Stop, I told you. Oh, like Craig said. <laughs> First person to get hit hard goes for that shot. Ain't nobody standing and brawling. Get out of here. <laughs> this ain't, hey, Braxton, ain't nobody, not everyone's the, the, the beast with the death hand here. Put that away. Put that thing away. <laughs> Great oh, knee. man, these girls, uh, I'm telling you, they're oh, ruthless. Nancy is bringing the pressure. She, she wants to throw that heat. An extremely fast-paced minute. I mean, I didn't even realize it had been a minute. Nancy keeping that great head pressure underneath the chin. Brianna able to circle off on that underhook. Great knee, short knee there. Brianna looked like she may have trouble seeing that. Going for that neck, Brianna. Oh, oh slipped out. Okay. Brianna doing a good job of just staying calm, though. She's not mm -hmm. she's working those underhooks. Ooh, she has double underhooks. Great. Great. She got the back. She won her last fight with submission. I wonder if she could pull it off again. Yeah, working Get for that position, in. getting her hooks in. Very smart. She's got about a minute now, left. Now, she has that kind of build that is so hard to get off of you. That wiry backpack strength. Long, lengthy. Yes, the perfect choking arms. But also Nancy, has, she's, she's, she's buff, you know, and, it's, and, and she's... Hard to get your arms around those, that neck as well. Yeah, I, I, this is a, I don't know, but... Great exchange. Brandon's doing a really good job of, of just sticking to her like a little backpack. With 37 seconds left in this round, I, I, I would just like to see Brianna, there we go, just landing mm -hmm. some nice hard shots, distract her a little bit, and maybe she can just slip that, slip her little arm, or just get a little wrist under her, under that neck. Oh. Now she's going for the armor, but oh man, I would not want Nancy on top of me. Yeah, at this point, I, I would, I'd like to see Brianna just bail and try to get to your knees and, and get up or get on top. Good job there to go. Nancy doing a great job to cover that headlock. And Back on her feet, Brianna, very good. What an amazing output from these ladies. Oh, Brianna man. with the double underhooks. You know, that was a real yeah. close round, but I, I, I will say, I think with that exchange in the last minute, Brianna probably took that round. Brianna looks like a sweetheart, but she can definitely fight. Man. Unassuming, right? Yeah. Really good first round by these ladies. I love how both of them are not using the stool. Yeah, nobody's sitting. Gangster. We got five rounds of this. Okay. And that can be intimidating to your opponent when you look oh, over yeah. there to stand and, just hanging out. And in, in, uh, in my amateur days, I had a wrestling coach as uh, my first fight coach, and he goes, no, no bench. You stare him in the eyes. I, oh, I remember man. when I turned probably I get a bench when I'm pro, right, coach? <laughs> <laughs> I just want a bench. There you go. He was like, don't go to the second round. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> don't go to the second round. Yeah. Champions oh, don't sit down. <laughs> Champions don't sit. Braxton Saddle sit. Uh -uh. Oh, man. All right. A great first round. Ladies not looking tired at all. Refreshed, ready to go. Curious on the game plan now. Um, Nancy doing a really good job of when she was on the cage smothering her, but that's where Brianna got her takedowns and where she was able to capitalize on that. So I'm really curious if Nancy's going to try to pick and move, pick and move, and how much of that was? Do you think she really thought they were just going to stand and bang, stand and bang, or you know, you wonder? <laughs> she doesn't now. All right. I mean, Nancy throwing heat. Nice right. body shots. 
But there we go, Brianna again, back with the grappling. That's the thing, is the, the smothering is great, but she... Yeah, she gets that seat belt. Look how she's got that seat belt, and she's just... She's, no, she's Gable gripping it. See how she, she's got her hand trap. That's, yes. that's sweet. Going for that neck again. But Nance is still being relentless on those body shots. Those add up. Good wrist control there. She's actually got that arm drag. Well, Nancy's doing a great job of staying active, though. She's not letting Rihanna just get her on the cage and work. Oh, definitely. I'd really like to see Nancy just pop off and, and throw some up just like mm -hmm. that. But up against the cage, have her bounce out. Right, recoil back into it. Brand doing a really good job of moving. Ooh. And I really, I really like her, her too. It, it, it's almost a straight, it's almost a loop. It's coming right up, right up over her shoulder. And Nancy is relentless. She's going to bully right now. The problem is, is each time she comes in, it's almost like she can't quite get past this uh, upper body clinch, the Greco clinch with Brianna. Brianna's able to get her underhooks or get wrist control or reweave. Look, she's got that hand. That's actually pretty slick. Mm -hmm. She's got that overhook hand grabbing the opposite hand. Again, things that amateurs when I was an amateur just weren't doing. Right? I mean. Very impressive. Very high level. I mean, this is all high level. This, the way they're moving, the way they're setting things up, the tenacity, the aggression, the setups. The most technical fight of the night. And we're only in round two, boys. Yeah, you can see the, the pace they've been keeping is getting to them a little bit. They're going to probably cool off a little bit here until they hear the clacker and then get after it again. That calf kick. Oh. Good head move by Brianna. Like... Nancy's pressure is Ooh. devastating. Oh. Oh, what a fight. Yeah, coming into that, uh, into the third round there, I think that was a much closer round uh, than the previous round. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be the judge on that one. That's pretty close. I'm pretty grateful I'm just calling the fights and not judging it, because I, I, I don't know how it call yeah. it really. No, I, I get about 60 to 70 percent of the fights right each time and 30 to 40 percent of the fights are completely wrong. Not even kind of wrong, just completely wrong. So, right. yeah, I, I'm, I'm good. I fought and I would rather not be a judge because clearly. Well, because sometimes, I don't know, sometimes the fights are close and it depends on like what you're looking at and exactly. I mean the criteria of how you're scoring, you know. It, where you're sitting also. Where you're sitting and who you're watching. And what you're watching. All right, the lady's looking good again. Refreshed, ready. Got a little stool action now. No, still standing. Do you have a cut? Got a little bit of swelling under her eye. Oh, checking it out. Cut team's just checking it out. Looks like she's good to go. A little bit of tape hanging out of the gloves. All right. Both these ladies still look refreshed, ready to go in the third round. Definitely like they're physically prepared for a five round fight. I like to see Brianna step in a little bit more when she's throwing those combos. There it is. Ooh, a big shot oh, from big Nancy. Shot from Nancy. <laughs> Misses that rebound shot. Brianna's in a nice clinch, throwing those knees, trying to keep Nancy from securing any kind of take takedown. And Nancy's pressure is just relentless. Ooh, another short there from Nancy. Those knees from Brianna. Brianna with a strong clinch there, though. Yeah. Driving I love, Nancy. I love how they're both using their strengths. Brianna's definitely the taller fighter, so she's able to use that tie clinch. 
And then Nancy's the shorter fighter, and she's put she's stuffing her chin up under her. Excuse me, stuffing her head under her chin. Keeping that nice oh, body shot. Yeah, we're definitely going to see those start to pay dividends if the fight continues deeper. Going for that neck again. Nancy just seems so strong. I don't, I just don't think he could. Man, she's gotten her a few times with that, with going to the body and then going over top. In that clinch. A little bit over a minute left to go and another really evenly matched round here. It does seem to me that Nancy's starting to maybe land a little more significant strikes here in this round. She definitely seems to be pushing her back quite a bit. Ooh, there was another straight two off of a switch. Man. Ooh! Oh, that was a big overhand. That hurt Brianna. Oh. And she's gonna follow her down. She presses her down. Ooh! To the ground, she's continuing to ground and pound. Brianna goes for a triangle, scrambling up to her turtle, continuing to Man. fight. Brianna back on her feet she is and scrapping. The ladies are throwing the leather. Man. Nice jab to the body by Brianna. She's nice still game. Dude. She got dropped and she's game. It's Ooh. almost like it gave her more powers. Very impressive. This is high level, guys. This is high level fighting. Nancy on the back. Brianna rolling Gangster. for the knee bar. Ooh, that monkey roll can be dangerous because you get caught there, though. Yeah, I went wrong. And Nancy looking to take the back here off this knee bar attempt. <laughs> Luckily, Brianna's going to survive the round, and goodness gracious. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Both these girls okay. are so game. Ladies main event. Co-main, excuse Co -main, me, coming yeah. through. Co-main, main, it's the main event right now. Man. It's the only event right now. What Holy smokes. Johnny got it wrong with the main event. Hey, that that that, that last fury, flurry right there very well might have secured her the round. It's crazy to me to think that Brianna's only had two fights. That's nuts. Still standing. Still standing. We're both Tough still standing. I, I like how one coach brings the chair in and then Nancy goes, yeah, no, it's not happening. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, they're both. Now, I don't know. Uh, they're working on Brianna. Looks like she's good, though. No docs are checking her out. Just a cut. So it must be a cut there on her. I didn't see it. I didn't see a cut. Yeah, it I doesn't look it. that bad, but maybe it's this, different when you're an amateur. And there's a bit of swelling over yeah. the eye. And, and they're always going to be more careful with amateurs. This young lady has got to go back to work, got to go back to school, got to go back to her, whatever she's going back to. We want to keep them safe so they can get in here for their professional uh, fights. Man, Nancy yeah. looks ready to go. I think she smells blood. And yeah. And what's to see? Gosh, Brianna's game. She is game. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of both these girls. Absolutely. And I mean, no doubt, anyone coming out of four ounces is going to be game. Coming out of such a high-level camp, you expect nothing else. And her, she's showing her gym's pedigree right now. Another that overhand. Overhand. That rushing overhand is really a problem for Brianna. Now, now she's Nancy's taking got it the back. back. Big takedown. I feel like Nancy's wrapping up her arm, looking for a finish. Do a little gift wrap. D does she have that gift wrap? I think she's got a little gift wrap. Yeah, I can't see it from here. She was definitely feeding it she over. She did I can't look really like she was feeding it. it. Yeah, it looks like she does. That's. Yeah, she's trying to free that hand so she can start to a dream to have, a nightmare to be in. Oh my goodness, she does. Yeah, but she's out there. Really. Brianna doing a good job trying to follow up on that underhook, but Nancy doing a good job keeping her head over her head so she can continue to strike, moving into that knee side position. Yeah, back to headlock. That sit on, I sit out. Now she's got that single leg. If she could just Oh. Nancy's just strong and now this is a chance for Brianna because Nancy's got her back and her feet 
on the cage. She can just scoot those feet yes. back away from the cage, get her on her butt, Pull that and then there. keep oh, those got feet that off the mat. Knee tap, run it to the back. Now she's got now she's got that body lock, and that's her jam. If she could just stay on top, she's got a minute left. Now she's going for that single leg. That's Nancy just using all of her ability like to, to keep that from happening. I like to see Brianna do that peek out again. Yes. And then just be a little bit more eager with getting around to the back. She's following that there single up to the back, though. She can lock her hands there. Nice knee. Race the three, race the three. 45 seconds left here in our fourth round. PFC Amateur Series 1 co-main event. Nancy Ramirez, Brianna Roper turning into a banger. Brianna's in a lot of pain, she just keeps going. And Nancy with a good speed slam there. And it, that's that's right, champ. Brianna's in some a lot of pain. You can tell that. Yeah, she's really pushing through that. Uh, Nancy with the full again. mount. Ten seconds left to flurry and close this round out. Brianna doing a good job of maintaining her posture. Ooh, Nancy uh, shoulder punches. Heavy blows to end that round, and we are into the fifth and final round of our co-main event. What an impressive performance so by both got? these ladies. We got where are we at here going into this Man. fifth round. Who do you think? I mean, honestly, Nancy, Nancy seems fresh. She seems she seems fresh. I, I, you know, I, the whole missing weight thing it, it sucks. I'm not. I don't want to be down on her, but it does it does affect. It, it is effective yeah. when I mean she missed by four pounds in the championship fight. Four pounds a lot to not to have to cut. Um, and I think the size is really showing just with her power, her strength, her her pressure. Um, yeah, it's. What do you think, champ? Uh, I think Nancy's up. I think Nancy's yeah, up. I think yeah. I'd, I'd have to agree. I don't yeah. think it's by a lot. I think we're three-two or maybe a four-one if somebody was. But. But I, I, I I'm not going to sleep on Brianna though. No. I, I wouldn't be surprised if she jumped on her back and yeah. the, you know she's she's, she's relentless. Got a very slick back take. And for not sure. giving up. And man. Well, she has no kids. She's a dog. All right, round five. I feel like that's one of the best compliments you can give a fighter is call him a dog. You know, it's just because that's, that's something that cannot be taught. That's just in your soul. And she is a dog. The boys are getting into it. <laughs> Gotta love the peak crowd. What a good crowd here tonight. But how Ooh. can you not have a good time with all these fights? These fights have been phenomenal, action-packed, non-stop. Not a bad fight all night. No, not at all. Yeah, the peak cage is looking bright for the future, especially considering these are all amateurs still making their way to that professional circuit. Man, Brianna's come out really strong this fifth round. Hanging on that head, landing those knees. Nancy doing a good, oh, a foot stomp. Okay, I like it. Things Shit just got real. Man, right. let's you get a go. Push stomp, Take it me just back got to the real, pride days. Right? Take me back. Things just got real. Oh, man. I'm going to get in trouble there. You're going to have to bleed me out later. Got too excited. <laughs> but you foot stomp me? We're hey, man, we man, fighting man. now. Oh, we man, we fighting. Man. We fighting now. Foot stomp me. Oh, yeah? Felt that longer than anything oh, else, no, didn't you? Yeah, exactly. It was purple. Back toe to toe. We got 90 seconds left in this fifth and final round for these two ladies. Impressive from both these gals. Yeah, you can see Brianna really pushing the pace there at the beginning of the round, looking like she might be fading just a little bit. Now Nancy coming on here in the last minute and 20 seconds. Brianna really needs to just turn it up, try to keep Nancy from pressuring. Man. Ooh. Very good. Step in two there off that kind of switch stance. Step in. And this is a common theme position for the night in this fight, which has been a clinch battle. This has been a clinch battle. And it's been a technical clinch battle. Yes. Like going back and forth, isolating the arm, two on one. Breaking, striking, wrestling, like, beautiful. 
about 30 seconds left. Really impressed with these girls. Got Brianna staying. coming in for that shot at the last moment, trying to secure that round. Nancy Ramirez trying to defend that off. Sprawling out, looking to circle out for the back. Short time left, 10 seconds. Oh, there's that desperation peak. Tried to sit out. I like it though, she's still working to so the very end of the bell. What an amazing fight by both yes. these ladies. An amazing fight. They should both be so proud of themselves. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, as amateurs, I don't think there's anything to lose there. Brianna got herself an amazing fight that she'll have an opportunity to grow from. The same with Nancy. Either way, uh, I do think it'll probably go for a split for Nancy. Um, but Brianna really showed grit. I mean, yeah, that exchange, tough. man, and that, that eye was clearly hurting every time yeah. she got hit. Yeah. And she just, she kept coming forward. She didn't care. She kept coming forward, man. She's like a new fan of me, for sure. Absolute hard of a warrior. Back in here. Great job, Nancy. Like she's still ready to go. Yeah. She's got about five more rounds left in her. Uh, you know, I was, my, my coach used to always get mad at me when I do that. He'd be like, yeah, so much energy. Why don't you put it on the fight? <laughs> but, but I think anyone who's fought knows that kind of like, it, it's weird. You get done and then you almost are like, oh, there's more. Yeah. You know? Like a drill in, like a, yeah. another rush comes through. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Shit, girl. <laughs> Nancy giving, the, giving the, the point shout out to the champ. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Nancy. All right, let's take it to the cage for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fight after five rounds. We go to the judges. Your winner tonight, Nancy Matarita Ramirez. Okay, so. Are you a little disappointed you get the finish? Because I saw you were looking for it. You, you, you were good about the, the overhands. They were landing, and man, she was tough. She was tough. I was trying to get the back at that last second, but goddamn, she's, she's tough, man. <laughs> she gave me a good fight. I'm very proud of Brie. I saw you shadow boxing and still moving around after the fight. When, when are we going to see you in the pros and the, doing those five minutes? Man. God willingly, by the end of the year, I don't want to rush anything. I want to do everything correctly. Just because I won doesn't mean I can't improve. There's always room for improvement. So I have a whole lot of way to go. But you'll see me soon in the pros for sure. Let's go. You should be really proud of yourself. Amazing performance. I cannot to wait. I cannot wait to see you fight again. Celebrate this. Enjoy it. Good job. <laughs> 